There were some authors who tried to uh, classificate uh, non-fiction movies in categories, for example, uh, Eric Barno or Bill Nichols, who spoke about uh, six type, types of representation. And for, from your point of view, it is possible to create uh, genres for non-fiction movies? Uh, well, yeah, it, of course, to, to start off, you could you could get some lead, but I, I would rather see say that Werner Herzog has a really fantastic manifest, and I think that's a good lead to to to, to think about film. Or Kosakowski, uh, he's a Russian documentary filmmaker, he's got a fantastic uh, statements on on lessons and rules on on how to approach documentary filmmaking. And these are guys who, who have a, 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 a fantastic view on, on, on filmmaking and have a freedom already that, that could inspire you, but the rest is just film school stuff. I film sono film. Non, 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 non saprei cosa dire. Uh, un altro piccolo, un'altra piccola cosa nella memoria, lessi una volta un libro sul, sul free cinema inglese e Lindsay Anderson diceva che all'inizio del, della sua carriera tutti continuavano a domandargli ah, ma lei, lei fa cinema, ma che tipo di film fa? Faccio documentari. E eh, quando vorrebbe fare un film vero? Non le piacerebbe fare un film vero? Ecco, io credo che eh, lì dentro in fondo ci sia la risposta, cioè un film è un film, dopodiché eh, gli strumenti che vengono utilizzati eh, per raccontare dentro il film il rapporto con la realtà che noi eh, come spettatori abbiamo è quello che ne determina, ne determina l'incidenza sul nostro essere quindi mh, mi sento di dire che se, se ci mettessimo a fare le categorie di tutti i film non fiction probabilmente ne faremmo 150 di categorie e allora non servirebbe più a nulla. Certo, quando mi chiedono che film faccio, faccio fatica a dire che film faccio, e allora è più facile dire non fiction. Well, I think that films are just films, and it's really hard to answer this question. What I can tell you is that I read um, somewhere that um, Anderson said that at the beginning of his career, um, when he was asked, uh, what kind of films do you make? He said, documentaries. And then people would ask, and when are you going to make, wouldn't you like to make a real film someday? <laughs> so again, to me, films are just films. And they're just always, you have these tools that you use to tell about the reality, the relation with reality of yourself and of also the viewers. And depending on the tools, uh, you decide how that will affect the viewers themselves. So um, I would say that if you had to really find subcategories for non-fictional films, you would probably find 150 categories and that wouldn't make any sense. Of course, it's hard for me when I'm asked what kind of movie I make uh, to, to find a correct answer, a precise answer. So I usually it's easier to just say non-fiction. How do you try to tackle the risk of influencing people by by filming them, which is to say that if you film people, I believe that they react differently if there was no camera. So uh, is there an, does everybody has his own technique, do you just accept that? How do you go about it? How do you say it? You always get a relationship with your with your character or with your person you want to but the question you should ask uh, more is afterwards, after you did the film, how, how, how is your relationship with, with this person? If, 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 they, if you're, if you're in, a, in, a, in a situation where they don't like you anymore, you did something wrong, you know? It's all about being sincere to your subject and you can always push people into a situation which they would normally go, but that's also good for your film sometimes, to push people into a situation where they go further. Because uh, many people are scared to, to make new steps in life. But for film, yeah, you have to take things sometimes a bit further. But if your relation is based on, on mutual respect, they would, a lot of people will go further. 
Bravissimo, io non mi pongo molto il problema di quanto queste persone vengono influenzate da me perché io cerco di farmi influenzare da loro allo stesso modo, quindi è reciproco. Quindi è un patto che viene stabilito sin dal principio. Io se sto facendo una conversazione con una persona e questa persona va a parlare di cose che io inizialmente non avevo previsto, vado dietro a questa persona. Quindi lei influenza me quanto io influenzo lei e questa tensione, questa... Eh, questo, um, questo attrito in qualche modo determina per quanto mi riguarda, il senso di verità che c'è poi nel film. Uh, yes. I, I, I don't really think that much about how much, to what extent uh, I will affect the people because I'm filmed with them, because actually I'm also affected by the people I film. So it's some kind of mutual agreement that we have from the start. If I'm talking to somebody and he comes up with a subject that I wasn't expecting, he's leading me somewhere. So I'm also influenced. So this kind of tension of friction that grows between in this dialogue determines the truth that you will find in a film. Um, I was just thinking if you use maybe if you stage the scenery or just use actors um, in the in the documentary, do you think it's it can be still called real documentary film or in a way you can avoid by using actors you can avoid this like affecting these people uh, by the camera eye maybe, maybe but the question is is it still real real documentary film if you use um, stage scenario yeah for me it's it's like i said before you know sometimes people use uh, dramatic elements you know like actors is but usually to to uh, film something which they already have in mind So they're reconstructing something, and usually it's boring because it's, it, it goes into the feeling of that documentary should give you stuff that you cannot come up with before, that you cannot imagine. And then sometimes I think, well, then make do a real fiction film if you want to stage stuff like that. You know, there's no, there's no sense for me to, to stage or, or do something with actors because It's, 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 for me, it's not exciting. And I, I hardly see any successful um, uh, documentary films who, uh, who, do the, who do this. I don't like them personally at all. But in terms of, is it real cinema? I don't know. You've got good cinema, you've got bad cinema. It's all about that. <laughs> okay, guys, this is all for today. When you will be back with a real film, Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Very pleased to be with you.